Tom Cruise. With the new God of War game release, we feel like this is a perfect time for a God of War workout. And what better person to give it to you than Kratos himself? That's right. I actually played Kratos in the God of War Ascension trailer. It was an amazing experience. And we're gonna be doing the exact same workout that I did to prepare for that role. Today is just gonna be chest and back, but if you want all the workouts, make sure you check out buffdudes.us for all of our programs. Link in the description. All right, let's get this workout started. <clears throat> When you look at Kratos, uh, you see a very specific build, which very much looks like a bodybuilder. I mean, very big, very pumped, but also lean as well. So one of the things about this workout is it's including a lot of supersets. And one of the reasons why you include supersets is because it helps elevate your heart rate for an extended period of time. So you burn a little bit more calories, but also you get an amazing pump, which is always nice. You're involving two big muscle groups. And what we're doing is bent over rows supersetted with the flat barbell bench press. Now these two exercises are amazing. You pair them up together and it's Kratos level. Oh man, remember I grew up playing God of War games and then I ended up moving down to LA. Got a call from this agency I started working with. Nothing really panned out. Everyone was like, send me to maybe like these big bodybuilding kind of characters, which I couldn't play. They're just too big. But I kind of had to tell them, I'm like, you know, send me up for something maybe like realistic or a superhero or video games. I'm mean, like, that stuff's pretty cool. So got the call and they said, you're playing this character, they didn't tell you what. You go in this room, he said, act out this scene, which is basically just showing a lot of emotion, breathing heavy, screaming, like you're just pissed off. I had no idea what it was for. Later I get the call, they said, okay, you got a call back. That means you get another shot. They're whittling down uh, the, the guys that they wanna possibly play this role. So I show up and I find out it's for God of War. Kratos, and I'm like, there's no way. I mean, that's kind of unbelievable, and I was like, I don't think I have a shot for this. So I went in there with very low expectations. Like, I'm just gonna do my best. Show up at the callback, and there's guys of every shape, size, uh, ethnicity, you name it, they're all there. So I'm like, well, whatever, you know. It looks like maybe they just wanna test who plays the best and what looks the best and whatnot. I had kind of longer hair and clean shaven, so I'm like, hmm, I don't really fit in. I did the role, and I did it in the room with the director and producers and stuff and whatever, you know, I left. And I get a call and I said, well, you got, you got the role. <laughs> I was like, no way, man, playing Kratos, holy shit. So the next process was getting all the makeup done. They did a full body cast. They made the specific armor to fit me perfectly. Um, they tested out the, the ash on the skin from his dead family that gets binded to him. And um, it was an amazing experience, did it? And it came out, me and my brother met up um, for workout at like 5 a.m. And the trailer came out, dropped. We were both sitting in there, tired as shit, watching that trailer and being like, that was pretty incredible, man. It, they did a beautiful job on that for sure. So I was very proud of that. And the whole process was absolutely amazing. If you know anything about special effects artists, Rob Bottin, um, he did a lot of effects for The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing. He did the effects for like Fight Club, um, a little bit of a newer movie, if you're familiar with that. Well, his right-hand man was the guy that was doing all the makeup, so it was cool to talk to him. And um, it was an amazing experience. That's just kind of a scary moment when I was in the makeup process. They put me in full makeup as Kratos, the white, the, tat the red tattoo, armor, and they had me stand there, get a picture, so they could send it to the director, the producers, say this is what it's gonna look like. And they get a call back and they're really concerned. They're like, he looks small. I don't know if he can play Kratos. And I was like, fuck small, what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean, man? Spent all this time trying to get in the best shape possible. Thought I looked pretty good. But the white makeup, they used for the ash completely just whitewashed me and they also painted my lats black to kind of i don't know why i guess they're just trying to experiment with some stuff so in the picture it looked it looked weird like i was kind of morphed in a small no lats white no de definition so thankfully one of the producers adam lawson great guy he calls me he's like no 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 you don't understand this guy's he's, he's the right size <laughs> he looks good so they did another kind of makeup test, made sure they got the right lighting. And they're like, okay, good, he looks good. But man, that was, that was scary. And that's what's hard sometimes, man. You, 
it can mess with your head. You can even look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I'm not good enough or I'm not big enough. Um, everyone deals with it. And I would say just don't let that get you. Just keep trying to be the best version of yourself. And with this workout, obviously it didn't take a week, two weeks, three weeks to get in the condition I am. It's not like you're gonna do this one workout and, and look like Kratos. Uh, it takes time, it takes years, but it's staying consistent on a workout plan like this that's gonna get you the benefits, that's gonna get you the results, the workout, the nutrition, the sleep, the dedication, a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance and pushing through and having bad days where you don't wanna show up to the gym, but you have to have that long-term mental aspect of it. But if you want a good pump, if you just want one workout, you'll get a good pump doing this one. <laughs> but if you want more than that, you gotta stick with it. That was the workout. Intense, fast, oh, hard as hell. Got a damn good pump, a lot of supersets, a lot of classic lifts. And that's really what it comes down to. You know, you can keep it basic, keep it simple, and uh, you can get some damn good results off that. Don't overcomplicate it. Nothing beats these really fundamental movements, the barbell, the dumbbells, the presses, the poles. If you wanna see more workouts like this, definitely go to buffdudes.us. Check out more of our programs. We have so many different exercises and workouts that you can perform to make you feel better, look better, and you can really do it anywhere. A home gym, a garage, commercial gym. Check out the link in the description. Let us know what you think. And as always, stay buff. Yeah, Kratos out.